AWS Cloud Formation provides developers and system administrators an easy way to create and manage a collection of related AWS resources. It also allows you to provision and update AWS resources in an orderly and predictable fashion as if it was a single entity. AWS Cloud Formation stacks are a collection of AWS resources that you can manage as a single unit. Once deployed, you can modify and update them in a controlled and predictable manner. It's kind of like applying version control to your AWS infrastructure. AWS CloudFormation templates describe the resources that you want to provision in your AWS CloudFormation stacks. And AWS provides sample templates for you to use, so you don't have to worry about anything, or you can create your own by defining the AWS resources, the dependencies and the parameters required for your application to run. So let's take a look at an AWS CloudFormation example. So here we have Amazon Elasticash and there's two templates. There's one for Memcached and one for Redis. So let's take a look at the Memcached. So the template says it creates an Elasticash cache cluster with the Memcached engine and deploys a sample PHP application that connects to the cache cluster. Now, if you click on the view button, you get to see the JSON code, which makes up a cloud formation template. And then if you click on view in designer, you're presented with a graphical representation of what you're trying to create. And if you click on the launch stack button, AWS will go and actually launch all this for you. This is a very quick demonstration to show how you can use cloud formation to create and manage resources. So if we go to management tools and click on cloud formation, this brings us to the cloud formation dashboard. And we have a few options. We can design a template so we can start from scratch and create our own cloud formation stack. Or we can create a stack using existing templates. Or we can create a template from our existing resources. Now this is very cool. So if you have a development environment, you could launch cloud former to create a template from your existing resources so that you can just press a button to duplicate it whenever you need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at create a stack. So we'll click on that and we can either design our own or we can choose a template. So we're going to use that and as you can see there's a few options here available for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a single instance WordPress block and we can take a look at this in the designer to see what it looks like. So I'm just going to open this up in a new window. Okay, so let me zoom out. I saw it disappear down here. There it is. So this is a very simple cloud formation template and it's going to create an EC2 instance, which is going to be our web server, which is going to host the WordPress blog. And it's going to create a security group for us. Now, if you go down to the bottom and we have a look at the JSON, we can see what it's doing. So it's allowing us to create this on any, all of these different instance types. Then we have what's going to be allowed, where people can connect from, the database name, who the DB user is, etc. So there's all sorts of things going on down there. So let me just flip back to CloudFormation and then we'll go through the configuration steps. OK, so we now click on Next. And this here is the graphical representation of the JSON code. So we can give the stack a name. So we're just going to call it Test because we're not actually going to launch this. Then the DB name. So it's a WordPress DB and the db password so we can give it a password if we want to let's just call it that for now db user so who we want to be able to connect so i'm going to call it admin then we get to choose the instance type so we can choose any of these instance types for our wordpress blog and then we need to give it the key so we'll use our simply learn key pair and the SSH location. So what IP range do we want it to be accessible from on SSH? So we could tighten this down to say just my IP address, but we're just going to leave it open. Then we click on next. We get to give it a tag if we want to. And then we get to the creation stage. So we get to review. It's telling us it's using this template. There's a description of what it does. There's a warning here. It says this template creates an Amazon EC2 instance and you will be billed for the resources if you use it. Now, it's worth remembering some of these cloud formation templates have some pretty high powered servers involved in them. So when you launch them, you may incur some significant costs. So just be aware of that. 
Then you have the details that we typed in. And then when we're done, you would just click create and it would create that stack for you. And this concludes the demonstration for CloudFormation. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.